Winning is not about the trophy and the accolades. It's about the grind. It's about the obstacles. It's about the challenges. It's about the pain that you endure along the way for that 30 seconds of being able to either stand on the platform, be acknowledged by individuals that are close to you. But when that happens, your mind has to immediately shift back because now you felt and tasted something that you could only get through winning. Are you willing to do it again? Everybody wants to win, but in order to know how to win, you gotta know how to lose. Because you're gonna lose more than you're gonna win. But every time you lose, what do you gain from it? So every time I've lost, people say, you gotta jump right back up. Get back right on your feet again. And I, I disagree with that. After you lose, or when you get knocked down, stay down there for a minute. Understand why you lost. What were the reasons? Why are you down here? Why did you lose? Why did you get knocked down? Because if you just jump right back up, you're gonna lose again and again, and you continue gonna lose the same way. So every time I lost, I stayed down for a second. Minutes, hours, days, weeks. But when I stood up, I was different. I was smarter. And when I lost again, I stayed down. I stood back up, I was stronger. When I lost again, stood up, I was more resilient. Now you start putting the pieces that are necessary to win over and over and over again. So if you lose and you jump right back up and you haven't really changed from that loss, you're never gonna learn from it and you're never going to really truly know the unforgiving race to greatness because that's part of the unforgiving part is the losing part. That part is unforgiving. But winning and losing wants to know what's inside of you. It wants to know what makes you tick. It wants to know what your desires are. It wants to know what your ego is. It wants to know what your limitations are. It wants to know what your mindset is. It wants to know everything about you because winning does not lie. When you look in the mirror, you can lie and see what's on the surface. You cannot lie what's going on inside. And that's what people are not willing to see the lies that are truly going on inside of them that are not allowing them to win over and over, or sometimes even win once. You have to look, winning requires you to go so far deep inside yourself, it's way beyond the surface. People will point out your weaknesses, but there's a big difference between your weaknesses and your flaws. Your flaws are your gifts, and people are so busy trying to deal with their flaws and change their flaws when their flaws are actually allows them to stay in that race. Life and winning is a bunch of sprints within a marathon. And you can't see the end line. Like in a marathon, you know where the end line is. In winning, that win, that race may have an end line, but there's another start line right after it. But people that are really driven, and this is, just a, this is not about money, and this isn't about fame. This is about, you could be winning as a school teacher. You could be winning as an entrepreneur. You could be winning in business. You could be winning as an athlete, uh, as a waiter, whatever it is, a waitress, whatever it is. It's that every single time you sprint to that finish line, there's another start line that's coming. <laughs> and that's why it never ends. It's a marathon that just keeps going, going, and going. And I try to tell people, listen, are you mentally prepared to sprint every single day? And for how long? Because somebody else is sprinting. You don't want them to get what should be your win ends up being somebody else's win. And everyone who says hard work, no, we'll get you closer to that win. How many individuals have you known that you've outworked and they got that win? Winning has no loyalty to you. It has no loyalty to me. It has no loyalty to anybody. Mm. You can outwork somebody. You can outstudy them. Mm. All right, you can do all these different things. You can apply for a, a job and somebody who's less qualified ends up getting that job. Winning is in all of us. We all want to win, but the path people take to get to winning 
Everybody wants the end result and they want to feel the sugar and the confetti and all that other stuff. But what you have to endure to win, no one wants to talk about. And that's what really winning is about because you spend more time enduring it and being in a, a pl and not in a good place. And I wanted to bring it out and say, hey, no matter what you do in life, where you're at, this is what winning takes. And it's in all of us. It, it's in all of us. You find wins every single day. And when you find that win every single day, you can get closer to whatever you, whatever winning means to you. So winning is in all of us. Relentless was more of a mindset. This is about going out and actually achieving that mindset and getting what you want. They know what winning feels like, but what it takes to go down that unforgiving race to winning, they don't want to do because it's just too hard. So they rather stay in the middle. They rather stay because that's where majority of the comfort is. It's in the middle. Everybody wants to be seen until it's time to be seen. Winning, in order to win, you have to be seen. And once everyone can see you, you become a target. Everyone has their perception of winning, but the book talks about everything that goes along that path and what winning will bring you. And it's not always what you anticipate to be. What's the one thing to success? What's the one thing to your success? What's the one thing to making it? What's the one thing to winning? Man, if it was that easy, everybody would be doing it. But when you look at the, the road to winning, people look at you and they're like, you're a success, all right? But your road has so many more steps. Those steps are infinite. Sometimes you get to see them, sometimes you don't. Sometimes they're there, other times they're wobbly. And you don't know if that next step is gonna be there, but you have enough belief in yourself mm -hmm. to say, I know it's there, I'm gonna take that step. I may miss the step, I may fall, I may get scraped, that step may go into quicksand, but I know there's another step, I know it. I believe inside me that there's another step that I have to take, that somebody else isn't making me take. And you continue to take those, those steps are infinite. Winning is infinite, those steps are infinite. And your deaf people don't wanna to continue to take those steps. Mm -hmm. I don't care what kind of shape an individual's in. The greatest athletes, as much training as they ever do, if you've ever had to run up a flight of steps, it's hard, it's extremely difficult. So when people say there's 10 easy steps or you know there's five steps of greatness or this, the, their steps to me are infinite. And even when you put that plan out there, people aren't willing to even take those five steps. Winning requires you to be different and different scares people. So if you're worried about what others will say, the long-term effects, the sacrifices you make, the sleep you lose, your family being angry, I can't help you with that. There's nothing, quote, typical about lifestyle and choices you have to make. Winning is inside all of us, but for most, that's where it will stay, trapped under a lifetime of fear and worry and doubt. The race to greatness has no rules to protect you. Nothing says you're gonna lose. Nothing says you're not gonna get hurt. You're not gonna do all this work for nothing. There's no guarantee it'll be fair. Most likely it will not be fair. You'll lose at the buzzer. You'll lose to someone who didn't work as hard as you did. you lose on a bad call or a bad place. Someone else will get the job. A pandemic will wipe out your season, your bank account, your career. Yet, the prize at the end of that race remains so compelling, so addictive, so gorgeous, we keep running and stumbling and sacrificing and competing to catch it. Your mind has to be stronger than your feelings. Think about every poor decision you've made in your life. There was more emotion that was involved in it than there was mine. Every single one of them. Think about it. Your feelings keep you in bed. Your mind tells you, get up. Think about it. Every single day, your mind is the one that tells you, get up. And your feelings like, eh, an extra 30 minutes, just roll this. Don't worry about it. Listen, it's not the popular decision. You are gonna hurt. You are gonna piss a lot of people off. Are you gonna piss them off for the short term? Are you gonna piss them off for the long term? I've had so many individuals, athletes, that I used to train back in the day, and I used to tell them, you're not good enough to go to the NBA. The language of winning for people that win is completely different than the language of winning from other individuals. When I talked to all my athletes, I said, describe winning in one word to me. And everybody would think about, you know, they would be like, it's happy, it's, you know, it's euphoric, it's all mm. those things, and it is. But those constant winners, their answers were, it's unpolished. 
It's uncivilized. It's nasty. It's hard. It's dirty. It's unforgiving. And then Kobe comes up and says, it's everything.